<laughs> All right, y'all. In today's video, I got three bottles set up. One at 10 meters, one at 20 meters, and one at 30 meters. The three main distances of slinging. You know, they fill with some powder, and we're just gonna see how many shots it takes me to knock all three of them out. Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all yeah, see? 10, 20, 30. Actually, it's like 13, 23, and 43, but whatever. I'll take them three meters. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. In the little corner down there, I'm going to show y'all how many times it took me to hit them. Scouts on them. However they do that. Y'all, one more 30 meters. <laughs> Woo, 30 meters y'all all right okay y'all i'm gonna put down there how many times it took me it took me a little longer than i suspected you know it's a little windy bottles are a hard target you know it's easier to have a target with a background that's why i think in the competitions there's like a target in a target hence that's why slinging you're always so close you just miss it i don't know why if this was a almost, almost uh, hit the bottle thing, I would have probably took me, this would have probably been six, seven shots. I came close a lot, but today what I learned, uh, one thing you should always have, like I always say, is a couple things in your arsenal. Today was the shoulder. I, I thought about, I fell in a little slump on 20 meters. I thought about throwing my shoulder. Right when I said, you know what, let me throw this shoulder. This is a bigger rock. I know bigger rocks go higher to the right. I took a big heavy rock, I said, let me throw up my shoulder. Bam, right when I hit it. And then I started thinking, if you focus on throwing with your shoulder, it would be a lot easier on your arm, feels like. This is just me talking. This is me talking today. 
I feel like when you slinging, if you actually just focus on your shoulder throwing, you'll take off, you might take off so much pressure on your arm. You know, elbows, a lot of elbows are hurting nowadays. I keep getting those messages. And like I said, when you're slinging, you want to use everything. It starts off with the feet. You want to use your whole body. You got to be loose. You know, you want to step, turn. You know, you want to, you want to use all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, sling with, try slinging without a sling. You know, you know, just practice like that. You know, just practice that. And then, you know, then when you go to, okay, maybe I should throw my shoulders this time. Maybe I should flick my wrist. Maybe I should throw the knot. Maybe I should pull down, you know. Then you could throw those in your slinging and then you can find what works when it works. All right, y'all. Don't forget about the giveaway going on. Hashtag practical power according to comments. All right, y'all. Hope y'all like what y'all seen today. If y'all did, don't get to like, subscribe, tell a friend. And when you do, tell me that notification bell. Bing! <laughs> Record, hey, you don't want to miss it. Keep you entertained. You know that we talking slinging. Catch them in Louisiana, sling king. Find them down south, slinging giants like it's David and Goliath. Uh, make sure you subscribe now. All the slinging techniques, slinging so hard I could kill a beast. Come and check me. Hey, I know that you're gonna like it for sure. Make sure that you tune in to Practical Paracord.